Hi, my name's Doug, and I am happy to be with you here at Emerald Hill Skies in this video that we'll call a skylet. A skylet is when we introduce a particular piece of equipment, we kind of pass along lessons we're learning, or kind of share as one beggar to another where to find bread. And uh, tonight I just thought I'd mention I'm here doing some EAA. I've been working on the uh, Hidden Treasures list, Stephen James O'Meara, but at the end I... Uh, decided we, maybe we'd run over and pick up uh, Bode's Nebula, M81 and M80, M82 here. While we were at it, I thought maybe it'd be fun to share with you a little bit about the Pegasus Astro Powerbox Unity uh, platform that we're using now to be able to keep track of our conditions out in the observatory. Now, we happen to use a uh, PureTech Telestation 2 observatory, and it lies about 200 feet away from the office where I'm sitting now. It's connected to this office via a fiber optic cable that's actually buried underground. And you know that observatory works pretty well, but it is a little bit invisible to us here in this office. So we do a couple things to try to work with that. We use a camera in the observatory that we affectionately call a scope cam. And that scope cam is merely a, a little USB camera with a pretty good night vision. It doesn't use a, it doesn't have like an infrared beacon on it. It's pure, pure night vision that you see there. It's a moonless night too. So it does a pretty good job in the dark. That's the way we kind of keep track of where the scope is pointing. We use a sky cam it's actually a 183, a ZWO ASI 183 uh, camera that looks at about 160 or so degrees of the sky. And it kind of keeps us in touch, keeps us connected with the sky. So we can, on a cooler night like tonight, we can sort of keep track. But I also want to show you one other thing. On top that equipment plate, you might call it an outrigger, made by Los Mandy, there are two little Pegasus Astro uh, boxes. One of them is a USB control hub, and the other is Pegasus Astro uh, Powerbox Micro. Now, always before they came with their own uh, disparate uh, applets that you could use to kind of keep track of them and that way, you were able to, uh, for instance, with the power box, which has a temperature sensor, you could keep track of the temperature right out there on top of the scope. But now, Pegasus Astro has introduced this Unity platform that I think is very attractive. And you can see we keep it on our screen over here to the right. I'm just going to pull it out. And uh, if I can, just for a second, kind of make it a little bit bigger. And notice it is, what would you call this, responsive? As we change the size of it, it's changing the size of the individual components within it. I just think this is a very attractive interface. And what we're looking at right now is the Pegasus Astro uh, Pocket Power Box Micro. You can see it's showing us the temperature here. We're about 45.9 degrees, so it's to the to the tenth of a degree. Keep in mind. That's the temperature that's being measured out here on top of this equipment plate, right here on top of our Rasa 11-inch scope inside that observatory. So it's right there at the scene of the action, you know, the scene of the crime. And that data is, or are, the data are coming down to this little, uh, I guess you'd call this like a rig rack at the base of the scope. You can actually see it here in the observatory at the bottom of the scope here. And again, you can see it here at the bottom of this view, that little uh, portable kind of rig, rack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all that data are coming down in and going through these uh, power distribution boxes, a subject of another video. And so what that does is it lets us measure the temperature literally here on top of the scope. Now, I really like this because we're getting a, 
a readout right at the scope. You can see it just went to 46 degrees. It gives you a good humidity reading, about 51% humidity tonight. The dew point is about 28.8. And over here in this uh, drawing on the side, you can see that we can track the dew point across the, the graph in the x-axis of time. And here in the y-axis, you can see we can see the dew point, and we can also see what has been the actual temperature. And this allows us to see, uh, do we need dew control, you know? Now here we've got the sort of the power metrics, how many volts that this uh, Pegasus Astro pocket power box is producing. And we try to keep it just above 13 volts, how many amps it's producing, and how many watts it's producing. Here you can see the average current that's being consumed, a little bit from our mount there that is tracking now, and then the watt per hour and the amps per hour. And you can see that stuff graphed over here. Kind of an attractive little display, isn't it? Over here on this graph, you can see the Pegasus Astro um, USB controller. And I love this because you can set up which USB ports are turned on, and you can also decide which ones will turn on at startup. So you could basically, um, if you weren't using one of these, you could, you could make it so you turn it off. Well, look, I, I'm not using five and six, so I have it disabled to startup, and I have it turned off here. You can put the little titles in there. I need to do that myself. I haven't done that since I installed the Unity platform. Now in this, um, in this uh, dashboard for the actual Pocket Powerbox Micro, you can also see that there's a special tab for the do controllers. Now I just have this on auto do. And what that means is once the scope determines, or once the Pegasus Astro Pocket Powerbox determines that it needs to start hitting the do bands with uh, a few jolts of electricity to keep do from forming on this corrector plate, the corrector lens that is on the front of this Rasa, which is a do magnet, by the way. Uh, we also run a do band on that little um, ASI ZWO. 180, 178 camera that's uh, on that outrigger, that, that uh, equipment plate that rides on top of the scope. We have a dew band on it as well. Once it determines, once the Pegasus Astro pocket power box determines that it should be hitting those bands with some electricity, it turns on automatically and these things pick up and it enables you to be able to chart where is the dew and how much, this is the humidity rather, and how much uh, you're hitting that and then that, that affects the amount of electricity you're drawing. So in this dashboard, you can see the impact of that uh, power, which I think is just kind of cool to be able to see that. So in my case, I you know, minimize this little entire uh, dashboard and put it here in my screen display so I can kind of keep an eye on it out of one part of my eye. Uh, but you know, I also think it just looks cool. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think it just looks cool there and it resizes exactly what you need it to be. It's uh, sending power to that uh, uh, main the primary camera we have, which is a ZWISI 2600 MC Pro, we're powering it. Uh, we don't rely on the USB power for either one of these cameras. We power them. And uh, you know, it's just cool to be able to see what is it consuming. And especially I like being able to see where the temperature is 
45.7 right out there on top of the scope. And when that's moved probably two degrees, we probably should refocus things on our, our Rasa here. Uh, and uh, by the way, let's do a, a color match. In fact, let's do a, a histogram auto stretch there and then a color match and then let's pull these bars in so we can set the black level right around there and the mids uh, and be able to kind of measure what's happening out there at the scope and um, You know what happens is that uh, as we go through a night and we see the uh, the night conditions changing, this uh, Pegasus Astro po Pocket Power Box Unity platform is really doing a great job for us being able to report on things and how how they're looking. So I just thought I would do this quick little video to uh, be able to, as one beggar telling another beggar where to find bread, be able to share this with you. I hope this has been helpful. If, uh, if you've enjoyed this, you like these kinds of uh, uh, updates, these kinds of live streams, uh, equipment reviews and reports, as well as uh, actual uh, EAA that we normally do, I wish you would hit subscribe, maybe hit a thumbs up if you like this, and you can always hit that bell, and that way you'd be notified when we're doing these live streams. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for being a part of this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one here at Emerald Hill Skies. God bless. Good night. Hope you have a good evening there. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.